Here is the practice set for Lesson 10, Adding and Subtracting Fractions. Remember to use the simplest method possible, which means students should be asking the magic question first. I'll go over two examples with you, box A and box D. Here's box A. We have the fractions 1 sixth and 3 eighths. And we can't add them together because they do not have the same denominators, which means they do not have the same name. Sixths and eighths are not the same thing. So let's use the LCM, our lowest common multiple, to change the names of these fractions properly. Let's try the magic question first. Larger number divided by the smaller number. Can you do 8 divided by 6 evenly? The answer is no, so we have to use a shortcut. Don't list the multiples of 6 and the multiples of 8. Just list the multiples of the larger number, which is the 8. So right underneath here, I'll start counting by 8, one at a time. Here's 8, and stop. Can you do 8 divided by 6 evenly? The answer is no, so we have to keep going. Keep counting by 8, and next is 16. Stop. Can you do 16 divided by 6 evenly? The answer is no, so keep counting by 8. Next is 24, and stop. Can you do 24 divided by 6 evenly? The answer is yes. Circle and star. And 24 is our LCM. Now let's rewrite this problem. Instead of using sixths and eighths, we're going to use 24ths. So on the next line, write equals blank over 24 plus blank over 24. How did we get from the 6 to the 24 using multiplication? And we multiplied by 4. So times 4 in the denominator, times 4 in the numerator. Now on the other side, how did we get from 8 to 24? And we did that by multiplying by 3. So write times 3 in the denominator, times 3 in the numerator. Now everything becomes just a simple set of multiplication problems. Here we go. 1 times 4 is 4. Write it down. 6 times 4 is 24. Write it down. And oh, there it is right there. We know we're doing it correctly. Next side. Here, 3 times 3 gives you 9. Write it down. And 8 times 3 is 24. Write it down. Oh. It's already there, so we know that we're doing it correctly. Now, it's just a simple addition problem. Just like apples plus apples gives you apples, 24ths plus 24ths give you 24ths. How many 24ths? 13 24ths. And box your answer. One more example, let's do box D. So here it is. We have 1 third plus 7 twelfths. So they don't have the same denominator, which means they don't have the same name. So let's use the lowest common multiple. Let's try the magic question first to see if that works. Larger number divided by the smaller number. Can you do 12 divided by 3 evenly? The answer is yes. So 12 is our LCM. Rewrite the problem. Here, blank over 12 plus blank over 12. How did we get from 3 to 12 using multiplication? And we did that by multiplying by 4. Times 4 in the denominator, times 4 in the numerator. Here, how did we get from 12 to 12 using multiplication? And we did that by multiplying by 1. And we actually don't need to change this at all. So I'm just going to leave this side alone. Everything now is just a simple set of multiplication problems. Here we go. 1 times 4 is 4. Write it down. 3 times 4 is 12. And you'll notice it's already there. Let's do the other side. 7, we didn't do anything to it, so let's just write it down. And the 12, we didn't do anything to it, and it's already there for us. Now it turns into a simple addition problem. 
Just like apples plus apples give you apples, twelfths plus twelfths give you twelfths. How many twelfths? And we have 11 twelfths. Box your answer and letter D is done. Be sure to pay special attention to the little messages on this page. For example, in box G, be careful because this row uses subtraction instead of addition. And in box J, be careful because mixed operations start now.